Really? The one episode I don't watch on time is the good one? Uh. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 17. You might be kind of wondering... What's with the get up here? Well, it was Halloween work day and I dressed up as my Mad Max war boy combination and uh, I haven't had a chance to wipe it off because I literally got home just a few hours ago and I just finished this episode and some people were saying this is the best episode of the season so far. It's not hard to say that it, that ain't false. This episode has the brothers kind of coming to a head. We have Amara kind of coercing trying to convince god to go back on his decision while dean is taking jack off to turns out to be adam like original adam who actually in fact the actor who's in it was in battlestar galactica i knew i recognized him but he was in battlestar galactica which is like over 15 years ago which is crazy they get his rib because apparently his rib has absolute incredible divine power all the while, Sam is trying to find out another way. I do like the interactions between the brothers in this uh, episode for the most part. The first argument that they have is actually pretty solid. Their writing isn't bad. Dean isn't a cartoon. It's actually pretty solid. And I like how, while the whole Jack walking into the end is kind of stereotypical, I do like the dialogue between the two. And then while the whole, what was Sergei looking for, the key to death's door kind of MacGuffin thing is a bit far-fetched, I do like the entire sequence of when they go in. I like how Sam comes in and there's bodies everywhere and the door closes. And at first I thought it was a visual, but it was actually just a really well done practical effect. And then Meg is there once again. Cool to see this actress again. Admittedly though, I do feel bad for her because you can see she's fighting it. She's fighting her MS because some of the words are a bit slurry, but she's still got that character. She's still got that pizzazz, even though she's fighting a horrible disease. And it was very nice to see her again. We find out what Billy's plan has been this whole time. Apparently she just wants to reset everything, which to be honest, I kind of thought that's what was kind of on the table already. When you kill the two main deities, you have to kind of hit a reset button. That, or it's because I've been watching The Good Place too much. Maybe that might be why. The whole twist of Billy being not what she appears to be isn't exactly a big surprise, considering the lacking amount of interaction we've had with this character in this final season and just how repetitive and boring she has been in terms of what her presence is. The fact that she doesn't appear in this episode at first kind of niggled me, but in the, end, in the end, I actually don't mind that. I think that's a good idea. And then they come back, and there's a great slash horrible slash good conversation, do two-way conversation between God and Amara and Sam and Dean. Dean brings Jack into the building with the bone marrow bomb going, like getting ready to start off in him, and Sam tries to convince Dean he has the book now he has all of the plans of what Billy is trying to do but Dean doesn't want to listen to him he wants to just put Jack in there and set off the bomb Amara is trying to convince God hey we have one more last chance you can join us but in the end she gets coerced by God so it's a reversal of conversations whereas Sam is trying to and immediately succeeds in changing Dean's mind Amara fails and in the end succumbs to God or Chuck's ideas and now let me get this out of the way with I still think that the whole Chuck villain thing is stupid and there's a lot of moments in this episode that continue to prove that it's stupid for instance when he just lets out that big <laughs> top-notch quality writing there guys I'm kind of at the point now where I'm accepted that this is this new character it's not the same Chuck that theory that happened at the end of season 14 where they thought that Chuck was actually the empty that's making a hell of a lot more sense than this is even though it's clearly not what's going on but I did enjoy the more mature conversations and then while the one with Sam and Dean did get a bit ridiculous where he pulled out the gun and they started fighting each other it slowly progresses into the brothers 
actually making amends with each other and coming to believe and trust one another. The dialogue that Jared Padalecki gives, his delivery is really, really good. Dean almost dips into that cartoon level, but thankfully he's bought right back. And the editing is great too. The editing back and forth is very, very well done. In terms of concept, in terms of actual forward-based story, this is, in fact, the best episode of this season. Sure, you got to accept all the ridiculous redundancies that this show has done to its characters, to the story, to the lore itself, but on its own basis, this is the best episode of the season so far. Because the only other two that I can think of that come close are the pool game episode, which was all based on that stupid idea of them having to get their luck back, and Eileen coming back with those witches things. Was that on the last? No, 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 I think it was in this season. It was after Rowena died. Those three are so far the best episodes of this season. Those are the three that I will commend. Three. 17. Not a good ratio, guys, but I do enjoy this episode. Is it as solid as it could have been? There are a few moments that are just a little bit odd. The whole Adam Eve thing, the the rock test, the whole childness of God in certain situations, them going to what I assumed was heaven, but nothing about the whole fact that heaven dying thing. None of that. Still, still don't want to touch that. But it was decent. I was entertained. So I'm going to give episode 17 a 5 out of 7. I actually thought this was an okay episode. However, the end part did get me chuckling because they're like, hey, guess what? You're going to watch him die. I was like, oh, cool. Let's watch him die for a fourth time. Or is it a third? I can't remember. Jack's died too many times. That's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Sorry for it being late, but like I said, late night last night, and I just didn't want to do it. This might not come out until Saturday morning, but we'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Give me you guys' comments. We're now in the, lo the final three episodes, so make sure to give me your comments on what you guys thought about this episode, and I'll do a video talking about your guys' comments soon. Thank you guys, happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.